Having absolutely clear skies in Ireland is not something that happens that often, but when it does I always look and see is there a specific type of shot that I can get and is the timing going to be right. The moon rising over a subject is something I've tried to do on many occasions in the past, but the clouds have more often than not won through. But I headed out in earnest anyway to see could I get this shot. Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog. Today you join me, I'm down in East Cork and I'm in a place called Ballycotton. You might remember this place from a number of episodes actually on my photography vlog, but today I'm here because I want to capture something which typically happens once a month, which is the full moon. But I want to capture the full moon rising over the top of the lighthouse here as you can see, if I can move my hand, so up here. So what I've done is I've had a look at a number of different apps and I found, I think, the right place for me to be able to uh, go to. Now, I, as you can see in the screen here, the headland is actually blocking a bit of the lighthouse, but that's fine because I'm not shooting it normally. I'm shooting actually with my Sigma 150 to 600. And I want to be able to capture something here which is using compression within the long lens and be able to just focus in on the lighthouse and get the moon actually just rising up behind it. Looking at a number of different apps, like I say, I have a couple that I use. One is I've had for many, many years, which is called Light Track, and then the other is the Photo Pills. So Light Track will give me a steer of where I need to be, where I need to be positioned, because it will show me where the moon will rise. And then when I'm on site, I use the Photo Pills app, and the Photo Pills app will allow me to help put on augmented reality. So I can look through the camera lens and I can see where I'm positioned and then where the moon is actually going to rise. So hopefully anyway, uh, looking at the apps, it's going to rise uh, just here and then come up over the top of the, uh, the lighthouse and probably be around about here when I get the shot. Now, the times as well are different each month. So today is day before full moon, so it's 99%. Tomorrow was full moon, but it's going to be too late then, so I'm not going to be able to get that shot. So I have to come out today to be able to capture that, and hopefully everything will line up and I'll be able to get that shot today. So I'll show you my setup anyway, first and foremost, while we're waiting for the moon to rise. And then hopefully, like I say, we get to capture that shot and I can envisage something which will become a reality. Here's the first app that I use now, which is called Light Track. And as you can see here, you can have it for the sun or also the moon. Now, the white dot in the center is where I'm positioned, and the yellow line is where the moon will rise. The blue line is where the moon will set. And as I move the time along, you can see that faint red line moving around in conjunction where the moon will be. So I can see by this here that the moon is going to rise at this spot at 1740. And around 1745 or 1750 thereabouts is when the moon is going to be high enough for me to be able to capture the shot. So I can look for where I'm positioned along the cliff to make sure that it can line up right over the lighthouse. Hopefully that would work out and that's when I head off down to location. Once on location I use the other app which is called Photo Pills and this has augmented reality so you can set up for the moon and as I move the time along you can see then where the moon will be positioned based on where I'm actually standing. So it shows me that I'm in a relatively good spot here. Now obviously you know clouds are something that I hadn't banked on like I said from the outset it was going to be a crystal clear sky. However I need to be able to deal with those but at least I was able to be in the right position knowing that the moon would come up and sit right above the lighthouse. I think I might be out of luck. As you can see here, there's some clouds that are right above the lighthouse. Everywhere else is clear, just right above the lighthouse has some clouds. And it's now 10 minutes past the moon rising and I can't see it anywhere on the horizon. Now I hope I've got my position right in relation to the apps, but nonetheless, I think the clouds are actually going to stop what I'm doing. Settings wise, actually, I've got the camera set up at a relatively fast shutter speed because it's still quite bright. So I'm going to be around about a one one thousandth of a second. It might actually be too fast. I might have to slow it down slightly to be able to see the moon because it is still bright during the day. But yeah, maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't work, but I'll wait and see and chance my luck. So I've switched into my camera here now and I've gone into video mode and it's probably close enough that you're going to get to the composition. It is probably going to be uh, around about uh, here. 
so I'll just have a bit of those rocks that are there and you can see then uh, where I have the lighthouse positioned directly in the center of the frame now at the moment there are some clouds on the horizon which is a bit unfortunate because the rest of the horizon is absolutely clear but for me what I want to do anyways hope and wait that I can get that moon that's going to uh, come up to the left hand side and then sit directly above the lighthouse it'll be a nice shot because it'll be before sunset um, so you'll still have the lighthouse lit up from the sun and as you can see it's lit up nicely there at the moment but if you can try and envisage then the moon sitting directly behind that I'm going to be using the 150 to 600 and I won't even need to get into 600 but I might do one or two shots at 600 but I'll probably end up with around about 385 mil uh, which will allow me to be able to keep some sort of the shape anyway within the uh, island that the lighthouse sits on. It's a very unique lighthouse as well. It's only one of three in Ireland that are a black lighthouse. So hopefully I'll be able to get a nice shot anyway from it. But that's the composition that I'm going for anyway. All we have to do now is just wait for that moon to arrive. I think I've well and truly failed on this photography trip. Um, the clouds actually got in the way. My predictions were pretty close actually to where I thought the moon was going to rise. It's actually right, right now directly above the lighthouse but it's still quite bright so you can't actually see it that well in the sky taking a couple of shots anyway while i'm here i actually put on a graduated nd filter just held it in front of the lens as well try and bring down the sky so maybe i could see that moon a bit more maybe able to get it out in post i'm not quite sure but even from right now anyway with the naked eye it's not even barely visible it's now as well just going into the cloud that you see that's above the uh, lighthouse as well at the moment so my opportunity to get this shot is well and truly gone but nonetheless it was still good to get out with the camera still good to try and predict where it is but you know trying to photograph the moon in Ireland is a risky thing because we have a lot of clouds that are here even though like I said it's been clear everywhere else except for where I wanted it to be um, Still, like I say, good to get out. Thank you very, very much for joining me. I'm going to end this episode here. If it's your first time on my channel, please hit the subscribe button. Oh, and by the way, welcome to everybody as well that came to my channel from my previous episode that I did with all of the other landscape photographers on YouTube. Uh, you're very welcome. I hope you can continue on my journey with me. And like I say, if it's your first time, please hit the subscribe button. Give me a like, give me a comment. And until the next time, Schlange Fall.